This presentation gives a brief overview of GNU PG. It shows the installation, setup, configuration and how to use GNU PG and implementation details. The members of our group are myself, Sanya, Jitin, K.S. Lal Mohan, Shyam Lal Ellis, Ashwin Shekhar TK and Vishnu Prakash PK. Pretty Good Privacy is a data encryption and decryption computer program that provides cryptographic privacy and authentication for data communication. PGP is often used for signing, encrypting and decrypting emails to increase the security of email communications. It was created by Philip Zimmerman in 1991. Today, PGP has been standardized by the Open PGP Working Group of Internet Engineering Task Force and the current standard is defined in RFC 4880. The Open PGP standard was originally derived from PGP first created by Philip Phil Zimmerman. GNU PG is a GNU project's complete and free implementation of the Open PGP standard. What can PGP or its implementation GNU PG do? It can encrypt and decrypt email messages and files. It can attach digital signatures to provide integrity for the messages that we sent across and also authenticate the sender. It also provides facility for key management. It, will, it gives you a front end to create secret and public keys. It manages a list of keys, certified keys and also facilitates revocation and disabling of keys. What do you need to use GNU PG? Install the latest version of GPG. The current version is 2.0.16 and can be downloaded from the GPG site http www.gnupg.org slash download. This is a command line tool. If you're using Windows machine, GPG for Win can be used, which has a GUI. The software can be downloaded from the GPG for Win.org. Next, just main client into to the mail client to support PGP. PGP. In this demo, we have used Enig Mail with the mail client Thunderbird. GNU PG normally comes bundled with OS like Ubuntu. If it's not present in your system, there are two methods via which you can install it. First is using the Synaptic Package Manager, second by direct downloading from the internet. To install using the Synaptic Package Manager, you can give the command apt-get install gnupg as the super user. The second method is to go to the site www.gnupg.org slash download from where you will get the GNU package for download. Now we can generate a GPG key. For this we have to issue the command GPG hyphen gen key in the terminal. Now the program will ask us to select which encryption algorithm we want to use. Here in this case we are selecting RSA. Next we have to enter the key size and the expiration date of our key. After this, we have to enter our full name, email ID and an optional comment. Then we, we need to enter a passphrase and GPG will generate a hash of this passphrase and use this hash to encrypt the private key to the system. GPG wants some entropy to generate the key. So we may have to type in something in the terminal 
to complete the key generation process. For the working of a public key crypto system, we need to make our public key available to others. There are two methods of doing this, sending the key as a file to the recipient or uploading the key to a key server. We will describe the first method here. The key server method we will describe later. To export a public key as a file, the minus minus export option is used. You also have to specify the name of the key along with this option. The minus "-a", option is used along with the minus "-minus export option to produce an ASCII version of the output. The output is directed by default to the standard output, so you need to pipe the output to a file in order to get the key in a file. There may be cases when you have to export your private key as well. The minus minus export secret keys option can be used to do this. A fingerprint is a hash of your key. It is used to verify the authenticity of your key. It should be exchanged directly between the communicating parties so as to verify the authenticity. You can generate the fingerprint of your key using the minus minus fingerprint option in GPG. To view the public keys in your keyring, you can use the list keys option. The list secret keys option gives the list of the secret keys in your secret ring. Keys can be imported from a file or from a key server. To import a key from a file, we use the import option with the name of the file. Here we import a public key from a file called shamlalpublic.txt. Now when you list the public keys, you will see that the new key is present along with the other old keys.